Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and I am here to show you basically how I go about recording GBA slash GB games in order to help you guys with the challenge. I think I'm just probably going to go up on the TMG site, so yeah. Hello, mouse. How you doing, mouse? Uh, so as you can see, I use Visual Boy Advanced for my emulator stuff. Um, I don't really know much about other uh, GBA emulators, but I like this one for quite a few reasons. I mean, it has your basic you know save state function. Um, well, let's, just, well, let's just go through the options. We have this whole save state stuff. Um, it has actually some built-in recording stuff over here in, in record, which is what we're going to be using. It's kind of the big thing I'm going to be going over. Uh, other things, uh, frame skip. Um, I just like to do this. You can also increase speed by this if you want to, but it's the throttle option. Uh, I like to put the video on times two because times one, as you can see, kind of small. So I mean, that's like you know usual Game Boy size, but I mean times two is just it, I just like to do that better. Uh, emulator, I guess this stuff. Um, I'm not actually actually sure what these things are at the top of my head. I just I don't even know why they're on. So we'll just skip that. Uh, sound obviously you can control the sound here. Volume controls the volume. If you don't like the volume, I like to have it low because the GBA volume settings can be really weird sometimes. Uh, you can set the colors to GBA or uh, this. So you can basically tinker up the options pretty well. I mean, I think in the end, it, the, I mean, there's a lot you can do with this thing. But the main thing you want to just know is how to do video and the sound and recording. So let's go ahead and load up a game. Um, in some cases, I mean, we can just load up, well, as you can see, I've been playing Advanced Wars recently. What should we load up? What should we load up? Um, we'll just go with freaking Advanced Tour. Why not? So, you know, you load up a game. And I'll do it with Pokemon uh, Train. I'll do it with the uh, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge as well. But, so, yeah, you get your screen. And if you want to start recording, well, there's the main option I actually do to record is this over here. As you can see, I have my cam studio here. So what you usually what you can do is you just you, know, you press the record button and all these things and all these things are free to download from the internet as well. So I think we'll probably try to I'll ask Van to include a link uh, or I'll I'll include a link I'm I'm the one who's gonna be uploading this. I'm an idiot. Uh but yeah so you just drag your little cursor over here. Uh the way I like to do it you want to line up about like this. Uh that's not good because if you can see blue that means you didn't go off. But um it tends to uh well let's, let's, let's get a better one here. That's right, I'm actually recording this with Camp Studio, so this is like a meta Cam Studio going on here. It's Camp Studio within a Camp Studio. Take that, world. Uh, like Right here, as you can see, it's, not, it's pretty much lined up with the edge of the screen. And f at least for me, uh, you want a tiny, tiny border at the, end, at the end of these two here, because it tends to jump just a slight bit over. So that could be good. Uh, slight and slight that bit. No, 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 no. It'd be very particular. And... Um, just like that. So that well, that's going to record all of it pretty well. It'll record the screen. So once you start playing, it'll record everything that's going on in here. Um, and then what I like to do here... Oh my god, this thing's flipping out because there's two cam studios going at one time. But um, basically, so I'm not going to actually make a recording here. But then also to get then to get the sound, um, you can go up here, right here and type in, you know, test sound blah. And this will actually record all the sound going on in real time. So as long as your computer doesn't lag, this is actually a pretty good option. The the Camtasia will just record everything that goes on, and the Game Boy Advance emulator will actually record the sound. You can use something like Audacity and Narrow to record the uh, audio, your voice audio, and then you just go into an editor and you mesh them all together. I usually like to, what I like to do is I like to, uh, before I start actually start uh, the thing, I like to sort of like hum along to the music, because that actually lets you match up your voice and your audio really well. And then, you know, just set a time, look at your Camtasia and uh, Cam Studio, because it, as you can see in Cam Studio here, it actually tells you how much time has elapsed, and just take a note when you start, and then you can kind of sync things like that. It's not too bad. Um, I usually go into Audacity, sync things, and then use, and then sync uh, in a video editor, the video and the complete, and both audios together. Um, so let's stop this recording, because this thing's going to flip out. Um, and obviously, if you're going to do a Game Boy game, I just did this because it's bigger, but since we're going to be doing Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, go ahead and look Poke, Poke, de, 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 Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. And, you know, same thing, if you want to record it, you just, you know, drag it over here. Um, as long as your computer is decent, I had a pretty decent computer, and it uh, was able to handle Game Boy events and Game Boy games without any problem, really, so doing this method. So you can just do it like that again. Uh, you actually want to make sure you turn off the sound here, because the sound doesn't turn off automatically. So we'd start a new sound like puzzle test, and then you have you know your sound and your video. I think it's the easy way to do it, and it's definitely a good way to do it for live commentary. Now, if that doesn't work for you, there is another option. I don't know how much I necessarily recommend this, but if you can't like get a video in any other way, um, I mean you don't need necessarily even need game audio for your challenge entry anyway, but. Um, I don't recommend this because it tends to get out of sync and then you can't really fix it. But another thing you can do 
is use this start AVI recording part right here, which will let you, you know, make an actual video here. Uh, so puzzle test vid, we'll call this one. And um, I, I recommend the XVID codec. Uh, that's my fan. Actually, I should show uh, on here. There's actually codecs you want to do as well. I should, um, in order to set up Cam, I'll, I'll show up the same Cam Studio in just a second. But another, here's another option. Um, this thing is not like running everything at once. But there's another option right here. Is you can do this. This will actually record the video here, uh, and then you'll have a nice little video. In fact, I can actually stop the video here and actually show it. Uh, well, let's go ahead and load some stuff up here. Do to do. I know you can't see everything. Anything that's going on here, but um, where did I save it? My folders are kind of a mess. Um, yeah, they are a huge mess. I actually need to clean out these folders a bit. Uh, so yeah, puzzle test vid would be right here, and as you can see, it loads up the video pretty nicely. So there we go. We got a video right here. Whoa! Come back, come back, emulators, come back, Cam Studio. Don't leave me. But yeah, so that's one way. One way to get your video as well. I recommend the Cam Studio option over it because it's. Ironically, it actually lags a bit less. Now, there's also, I mean, actually, I didn't I haven't really looked into this yet, and I just noticed it's a start movie recording. How does this work? Let's let's tr let's tinker. Let's tinker. Um. So, I'm gonna see how this actually turns out. Um. Oh, I think what happens is you can actually. Oh, then you can. Um. I guess there's a third option is you can make a movie in this, and that kind of tank seems cryptic but you can basically uh play you can make you basically record a movie within the game and then play it back and record that avi file if the avi lags too much um so you'd rec you'd record a movie file then you'd go play the file that you did so i guess i can go ahead and uh so start playing movie what do we save here this one here and it will actually play the movie from uh where you're at here i think will it do it yeah see i'm not pressing anything it's actually just doing the thing on its own so that's one option is you could just do it like that as well, play your game, and then go back and use this to either do post commentary or, well, it doesn't make sense, but um, use that in conjunction with the AVI. So I could run this, run the AVI, and then it could do it, and then you'd uh, be able to do it without if the AVI lags too much and you can't do Camp Studio for some reason. So there's plenty of options. My main one obviously is Camp Studio, which by the way, if you're setting up Camp Studio, I recommend um, this TechSmith ca uh, screen capture codec in the video options. And, you know, this, just kind of use these settings here. Uh, it seems to work pretty decently for me, so do that. And um, so, yeah, I recommend Cam Studio. If that doesn't work, just use the built-in AVI recorder from VBA. If that's too laggy, use the movie recorder and then use an AVI recorder. But I don't, I mean, GBA and GB, the computers tend to handle that pretty decently, So especially Game Boy games. So uh, I'm just sort of elaborating on options for future scenarios. I think these the first two will be adequate for your needs. So I've recorded like eight minutes of just me rambling and probably the most scattered freaking thing. I'll leave more detailed instructions in the description just in case you didn't understand my blah blah. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys will be able to get with this. Um, and if you have any questions, just feel free to ask us at TMG. We'll be sure to help you on your way to recording this challenge. And I hope you all participate because I'm looking forward to this a lot. So I will see you guys next time. This is Lucky Seven DX of the DMG, the Midway Gate, uh, and there you go, guys. Bye bye.